Hello and greetings everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon. Now, we're coming with you with another blind Let's Play series. I know that's crazy, I've been doing so many of these lately, but uh, that's just how it goes. I was, uh, I've been in contact with some companies and they're hooking me up, and uh, speaking of hooking me up, I'd like to say thank you before we get this uh, blind Let's Play going to Massive Damage and to Evolve Turnimal for hooking me up with a copy of Halcyon 6. Now, Halcyon 6, from what I understand, I try not to read too much because I don't want to spoil these games to, uh, for me, is kind of like a sci-fi version of Final Fantasy. No, like the old Final Fantasy, something like Final Fantasy 6 or 3 in America, whatever you prefer. Now, we're going to hop in here, kind of look at what we got going on here. Um, full screen, lock frames, bloody mess, sounds good to me. Uh, gameplay warning checking this box will put your game into an unstable state hey how about we don't do that and wow that's all the controls hmm. so hopefully I will get back to this and they'll teach us how to do this stuff in the game so yeah this is my brand new blind uh, let's play series um, which is ah we got the difficulties over here um, so so we got scenario. This is my yeah Halcyon Six this is my brand new uh, blind let's play series. So we're checking this out. Let's see the main map. This starts the Halcyon Six main campaign. Your experience with space strategy games and enjoy. You are you are experienced. Well, okay, this is explaining the difficulty. I think you are experienced with space strategy games and enjoy a healthy challenge. This is what Halcyon Six is meant to be played at or meant to be played. Uh, let's see what Cadet is. You are new to the space strategy games. Resources are abundant and cruel. And and cruel expansion is tame. Enemies have much less health and do much less damage. Uh, Lieutenant, which is here, you have limited experience with space strategy games. Enemies have less health and do less damage. Um, we already saw that one, so let's see what Captain. You're an expert space strategist. <clears throat> Excuse me. Enemies have more health and do more damage. And this is the Emerald difficulty, which is... Let's see what right here. This starts the Halcyon 6. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You are a masochist. Resources are scarce and cruel expansion is fear, fierce. I'm assuming that's some kind of alien race or something in the game there. Uh, enemies have much more health and do much more damage. So we're going to stick at the cam... The, let's see, man campaign, skip prologue. Okay, so we're going to go with Commander, uh, just a straight uh, strategy, or this, I mean, just a normal setting, and see how this goes. Are you guys ready for this? Before selecting a new officer, you can re-roll your selection twice. Cool. View the list of something, and it disappeared for half a millennium. The space-faring race of the galaxies fought and conspired against one another for the Superman scene. Do we get to click? Do we get to choose these? Yep. So, okay, but it was the Terran Federation. But it was the Terran Federation through the integ or ingenuine <laughs> my, spe my speech impediment and bravery of its officer class that ultimately prevailed. Through the discovery and utilization of ancient artifacts left over from a long dead precursor alien race, they put an end to the death Dastrous series of wars between the factions. Dastrous. Yeah, I believe that's how you say that. One of these precursors artifacts is your home. Halcyon 6. The crown jewel of the Terran uh, precursor discoveries. The star base acts as the Federation's home base in the Halcyon sector. Or sec yeah, sector. All right, commander, command by Admiral Brimachahara, something along those lines, Brimachandra, uh, the Federation's most decorated officer and protected, let's see, and protected by the 12th Fleet, the star base is permanently staffed with a variety of Federation officers with the mission of unlocking its mysteries. Today, however, the station has received some unwelcome news, a garble hypercast ordering the 12th fleet to return to federation space with the intentions of returning as soon as possible to continue the work on the experiment admiral blah 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 brim macha brim macha and uh, draw <laughs> you guys are gonna have to excuse me there leaves you in charge of the station okay prepare for warp we got robots saying that to us okay 
Oh, and we're, I'm assuming this is us. We're moving, we're moving over here. Okay, Commander McLaren. Admiral, we've arrived at the Randevis point. Uh, and there's no sign of welcome. <clears throat> there's no sign of the welcome force. No hypercast signals detected either. Think we're early? Admiral Brim Machandra. Or is it Brim Machandra? I don't know. Uh, Brogen. Is it bro is that an A? So it's like it might be Broden? Your signal detection, Captain. Let's see, Brayden, your signal detection, Captain. The fourth and eighth fleets are expected to join us as well, and those Titan class ships should be hard to miss. <clears throat> Admiral, I'm picking up some. Definitely not Federation Federation origin. Some kind of a whatever it is, it's getting stronger, sir. I never seen anything like this before, sir. Some kind of portal. Oh, look, there's the portal right there. Uh, Admiral, I'm suddenly getting multiple ship readings, all heading for our position. They must be coming out of that thing. All right, unknown hostiles. I repeat, unknown hostiles. Uh, we might have to get a little creative here. All right. <clears throat> Commander, they are powering up weapons. We should take the initiative and attack first click on the highlighted click on the highlighted button to attack with uh insist your beam power okay oh right here target the small let's target the spike alien to fire the incisor beam there we go yeah cool so next use the backstab maneuver to inflict ship Deflect ship disabled and prevent your enemy from attacking. So this is strafing run. All enemies does massive damage. 967 to 1118. Crew panic. Um, so we, oh, which we said backstab, right? Yeah, this one. Backstab maneuver. One. Single enemy. Um, which one are we going to use on? On the big guy? Yeah, I think so. So this is the cruel. So we'll have to see. Excellent. Now select drone swarm. Swarm attack to attack all the enemies at once. All right. So this one is all enemies. Yeah, it's pretty standard uh, RPG or JRPG stuff. Um, so we can do this one. And let's see. Drone swarm. Oh, this just kind of gives us more. <laughs> release the drones. Uh, more info on it when we right click it. Target, target in enemy. Okay, some enemies have resistance against certain status effects. You can right-click on an enemy to view their vulnerabilities and resistance. And that right over there, we saw in the corner of my eye, it was saying, um, it was saying, what was it saying? There it was saying the attack wasn't very good, um, wasn't very effective. So, all right, we gotta do this real quick. All right, so we can right-click them. Chaos charge. Ooh. Let's see. The ocular vessel seems to be powering up a large attack. Shield yourself with a protective field to mitigate damage. All right. I want to see what the Cthulhu or through. So what this is? Protect field. All allies. We're back to by the way, folks. I had to take a thing right there. Um. Protective field, all allies. Uh, protective field, let's see, yeah. So we'll use this, target, and ally. Shields up. Yeah, we got cool, pretty good graphics here. The ocular vessel still has the ship to stable st that status. Fire, bridge, shot to combo, and exploit the ship's disabled status. And effect, uh, let's see, effect for extra damage. So this one is ship days. Let's see, hit them right between the eyes. Cooldown. Okay, so it kind of gives you like recovery. I don't know what the recovery is, but the cooldown is six rounds. Recovery is two rounds. Uh, ship days. Um, base hit is 150. Okay. So we'll click this and we'll end up clicking here. Great. Combos occur when an uh, attack exploits a status effect like a ship disabled. Okay. Don't get too cocky, Commander. They're not dead yet. All right, select. Wow, fire at will. Select the acid bomb power to attack your enemies 
doing damage over several rounds. Yeah, we know how this goes. Uh, oh, so this is an all attack one. The music's excellent too, by the way. Oh, they just shot some more of like acid right back at us too. Uh, what is that stuff? <sighs> when the ships are in critical condition, any third damage could result in complete destruction. Use the cauterize hole to repair the ship immediately. Target the Emerald Paladin ship to repair it and leave it in critical condition. Now selecting strafing run to try to finish him off. Yeah, this is a pretty big uh, damage move here. Does crew panic, it exploits crew panic, all right. Here we go, target any enemy. Great job, Howard Admiral. It's still in bad shape. Select the repair drone overdrive power to repair. All right, so this is repair drone overdrive three. Um, single ally, it's just a heal, just a standard heal move. So I don't understand the cooldowns and recovery quite yet. Um, so I'm sure I'll explain those a little bit more. Use Ninja Doom Cannon as a last resort. It can only be used once, so make it count. All right, uh, target the, this monster down here. Okay, the chint on this. Is that once per fight? All right. All right. Commander McCullen's ninja is critical condition and has taken damage over time from hull breach. If it's not repaired immediately, it might be destroyed. The warlock, uh, the warlock's catarized hull repair power has no more uses left. You should, your only hope is to use status lock to disable the enemy. Let's see, lock your target in a status trap. Okay. Target that oscular veil, or yeah, oscular vessel. We did that. Now finish it off with the Paladin's Dreadnought Ram. Exploits engines down, hold breach, 75%. And we took it down. Sweet. We lost a ship, but the battle is almost won. Select Solar Flare. <laughs> um, sorry, I always think of Dragon Ball whenever I see Solar Flare. Um, to finish it off. Alright, Solar Flare. Sensors offline, sensors offline. Target the Chitinous monster to fire the Solar Flare. Alright, there we go. Bob Alien. Oh, they had like its names there, its officers, but... Um, we ended up killing that last second before I could see. Emerald, we're picking up more of those portals on our sensors. Oh boy. Emerald Brimacha Chandra, we're being surrounded. Emerald, we need to jump now back to Halcyon 6. I got... Oh boy, look at that. It's like a giant alien. Emerald Brimacha <laughs> Brim Brim Chandra yeah I think that's how you say it Brim Chandra Chandra Brim Chandra so that's where we're gonna go with Brahma Chandra I don't know something like that oh god what is that that thing jump now for god's sake jump mm. let's see commander we seem to have lost our hypercast link with Emerald Brim Chandra and the 12th fleet. Halcyon 6. Starbase Commander. With the 12th fleet destroyed and little information as to whether the Federation still even stands, you and your crew are stranded in hostile alien territory, cut off from resupplies and in desperate need of need of more crew. Click to continue. All right, yeah, that's what we see down. You have little choice but to continue working on Emerald. I don't even like this. This name is crazy. Brim 
Ramchandra's uh, experiment to try to unlock the power of the station. Meanwhile, enemies may soon catch wind of the Federation's weakness and use that as an opportunity to strike and claim the station for themselves. Choose your first officer. All right. So at this point, folks, I'm going <laughs> to, as I just choked myself with my own mic, um, at this point, I'm going to wrap up the very first uh, blind let's play of Halcyon 6 Starbase Commander. And we'll be continuing on in the next video. And it should be good for you. I should be pumping out three videos, three videos today. But as I say at the, uh, well, first impressions, I should say, before I get going, is it seems really cool. A very old school RPG, JRPG, like standards uh, feel to it. It looks like it'll be a pretty cool game. But yeah, um, definitely liking the music, definitely liking the graphics. The gameplay seems pretty good too. But yeah, we're going to wrap it up now. Ready, ready, ready. All right, you ready for this? All right, probably people. Flip that bacon, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.